Hello everyone, so in this video what I'm going to show you is something that a lot of you have been asking about which was being able to get the turbo readouts on uh, something you all were talking about installing gauges or seeing if there's a method of showing it on one of the displays well you can actually see it on your cell phone so here's what we're going to do we are going to connect the phone to the car like so now what's going to happen is the car is going to go into Android Auto mode here in a second and we are going to get our Android Auto display so right now we have our Android Auto up over here now on the phone here we're going to go back onto the phone we're going to unlock it we're going to get the Android Auto swipe to unlock screen once you do that all you need to do is have torque installed have an ODB2 connector uh, on, uh, connected to your car that will transmit via Bluetooth to Torque. Um, this works on your Android device. device. This should uh, work on just about every one of them that's capable of driving uh, Android Auto as well as running its own display. So we're going to load Torque right now. And here's Torque. I already have my real-time information display set up. We're going to go into that, and now you can see on my real-time information display, it's connecting to the car right now, is here is my vacuum and boost gauge. Now, that is what it should say when the car is not moving, is vacuum and show the vacuum pressure. What's going to happen is, as we move the car, when we start doing something that activates the turbo, that's going to switch to boost. So you can see the vacuum gauge is moving. Um, as I apply pressure, I have a mileage tracker running as well for, uh, for business purposes uh, or commuting purposes and so on and so forth, so you can ignore that message. Um, so there you've got your vacuum, we're down to six, seven. Now watch this. There's your boost, 8.3, 13. Back to vacuum as my foot comes off of the gas. Uh, and it's really that easy to get your full car readouts here. Now, of course, on torque, for those of you who are familiar with it, you can adjust the sizes of the displays and, and display a whole plethora of different information. Here's your quarter mile stuff. I'm not doing any of that. Here's your uh, ECU status, your vacuum boost gauge here in, in bigger terms. So we're going to make a right here. And uh, so now you can see the vacuum gauge perhaps a little bit better and watch this. Now we're into light boost and it switches over. Supposedly it's supposed to be highly accurate as to what the boost is and, and uh, what the vacuum pressure is and so on and so forth. So there you have it. That's how you can uh, monitor your displays by setting up the stuff on torque for your Android devices while at the same time you're still using Android Auto on your head unit. So and the beauty is, is that that will stay on and uh, torque will also stay on as well until you disconnect it. So you also get reg uh, readings such as horsepower and other things that will adjust as you are using your car. I'm not gonna do zero to 60 speeds or, some, or anything like that. So all of these uh, are gonna stay that way. Um, I've got my temperature, I've got my throttle, I've got my speed, uh, I've got my acceleration and the, of course the engine RPMs. And as I said, there are a plethora of other displays that you can enable uh, and show, and you can resize them to a variety of different sizes. So Torque will keep on your Android phone display and keep displaying relevant information at the same time while your phone is also driving the display on Android, through Android Auto, on the head unit. So it's really nice because now you have an additional display. You've got the three car displays, four if you count the uh, rear view mirror, if you do have the, the additional camera. Plus, of course, you now have your Android smartphone being an additional display, displaying a variety of different car parameters. So now what I did is to make this all work was I got um, a Pro Clips mount for my Note 8. I got their side mount, their, their, their generic extension mount, and screwed it into the side panel. Uh, and I'm using that to mount it um, so it holds steady, and I just drop my phone in. It's really secure. 
Um, if I ever decide that I don't like it and want to pull it back off, I just can replace this one little side panel right here and I'm good to go. Anyway, there you have it. That's how you can enable uh, a boost gauge on your car, as well as a, a bunch of displays for other vehicle parameters as well. Torque does understand a whole lot of different information about the Subaru vehicles, including the ascent because the similarities in the programming on the ECUs. So I hope that helps you all. Have a great day. So this is probably my final display setup, though I might change it. So I've got my vacuum there, uh, throttle, coolant temperature, uh, RPMs, and acceleration. I'll probably add a couple of other things to it. Uh, but of course you can configure this any way that you want. And of course, as I said, while this is working, Android Auto still works up there. So you can have your gauges. Um, you can see it's pretty instantaneous response. Just make sure you get a quick enough um, Bluetooth dongle for your car to hook up to the uh, port, and you should be good.